Hi, I'm James, and in this video I'm taking a look at Quake Champions running on Intel HD620 graphics. Uh, this is the Core i3-7100U, and as you can see here, we're actually running at the native panel of the lap uh, resolution of the laptop, which is 1366 by 768 and the low detail settings. However, the game automatically uses the render scale option to um, run at effectively 720p um, and then just scale up. Uh, on 620 graphics. Um, so this is actually the first round I've played of the game so apologies for the very low quality dueling here. Um, and frame rates aren't terrible. Um, the game is clearly designed unlike say uh, Doom or the new Wolfenstein title is designed for sort of fast frame rates over absolute graphical detail. It's still quite a nice looking game uh, particularly on more powerful graphics cards um, but it does enough to I'd say Unfortunately, I don't have the frame rate on display here. I'd say you're in the sort of 20 to 30 frames per second range. Um, for a competitive shooter like this, this is going to put you at a disadvantage compared to people with more powerful hardware um, and a sort of smoother motion. I was at a bit of a, bit of a disadvantage because I get a bit of latency playing through my capture card. Um, although not a huge amount. Um, so if you're looking to play the game casually, um, then it is playable on Intel HD 620. Um, I didn't see any artifacting as such, um, but you're going to struggle against people who are getting consistently higher frame rates. Anyway, um, the beta, you can currently sign up for a key, so it's dead easy to go and try it out yourself. Um, so be sure to check it out while it's still in this stage um, and let us know what your thoughts are on it as well. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more from us in the future, be sure to hit the subscribe button. We've got plenty more videos we're sure you'll enjoy as well, looking at gaming on other platforms. Thanks for watching.